hi and welcome everybody in this video we will have a look at how to use a very special kind of forum in Moodle the announcement forum or news forum as many people call it I will tell you what's so special about this forum and also how to get most out of it because it is a very powerful communication tool for you but I will also show you how to delete it if you decide not to use it just before we do that, if you want to learn more about Moodle and other teaching learning related topics, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. But now let's get back to the announcement forums. The first important point to understand is you can't create an announcement forum yourself. An announcement forum is automatically created when a course is created and this is done by the Moodle system. Okay, so without you doing anything. So all the forums that you can create yourself when clicking on turn editing on and then add an activity or resource, go to your activities and find the forums. All these forums from here are no announcement forums. You can create like simple discussion forums or Q&A forums, but they are no announcement forums. So what that also means is that there's only one single announcement forum per course while all the other forums you can create as many as you like. Now the reason why the announcement forum is so special is that it is a one-way communication tool where only teachers can post. Students are not able to reply to those posts or start their own forum entries like you would uh, know from any other forum that you can create. That's why it is used for important news for your class rather than discussions. What's also great about the news forum is that by default, if you go to the settings, it has a forced subscription, which you can see here, which means every student receives an email for each post that you create. And students can't remove that subscription, which is important for you to know because they can't say, I haven't received any of your information. But that also means for you as teachers, please only use the news forum for really important stuff that students really need to get and don't spam them. They would hate you for that. Let's go back to the announcement forum quickly. Um, creating a post is really simple and works just like with all the other forums. You click on add a new topic, provide the subject and then write the message itself using all these editing options if you want and you can also add attachments. Once you have created your message, you can simply click on post to forum. This would give you a certain amount of time to edit the message before it gets posted and students get notified about the post. The default time for that is half an hour, which you or your admin can change in the site security settings. From there, the editing time can be decreased or increased up to one hour. On the other hand, you also have the option to click on this advanced button and tick the box, send forum post notification with no editing time delay. So students would straight away receive an email notification and would be able to read the post straight away. What you can also do from here is pin that particular forum post, which means it will stay above all other topics that you ever create and always display first. Now, let me just create this one here, post to forum, and I will quickly create two additional random announcements just to show you something a bit later. Just a random one, post to forum, and another one, post to forum. Now, if we go back to the course, all the announcements are displaying in this announcement forum. But that's not all. They can also be displayed in the so-called latest announcement block, which you will have to add to your course. I already explained how to add blocks in another video, which should be displaying at the top of your screen right now. So I'll just add the announcement block quickly now. We have turn editing on and now we click on add the block button, which is for some reason sometimes hiding here and we select latest announcements, which adds the latest announcement block on the right hand side. If you have any other block added to your course, I would recommend to always place the announcement block at the top of your course because it contains all the important course information. 
Having done that, you can select how many announcements you want to display in the latest announcement block. All you have to do is go to your core settings, not this particular block setting, to the core settings here. Then go to appearance. And here you have the maximum number of announcements, which at the moment is zero, and that's why there are no announcements displaying at the moment. I'll just put, let's say, two for now, and let's see how it looks. Save and display. And we can see two announcements being displayed here, even though I have three announcements in the actual announcement forum. If I go back to the core settings and put the maximum amount of announcements to five. Save and display. You will see that it shows all three announcements in the block and all together would show five announcements if I had created five announcements. But um, having done that, the announcement forum is a very effective way of getting important information to all your students in, I would say, a really uncomplicated way. However, if you still don't want to use it, you require two steps to delete it. Step number one is, again, go to your core settings and put the number of announcements to zero, like we had before, zero, and save and display. Now the latest announcement block is gone. Step number two, in your course, turn editing on, and from the little edit icon of the announcement forums, either delete the forum or what I would rather do is hide it. Just in case you decide to use it at some later stage, because once you delete the announcement forum, it is gone and it can be quite difficult to restore it. But this concludes the video about announcement forums. If you like it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on Moodle and other teaching related software. Thank you so much for watching.